Hey guys, let me get this straight. How are you? My name is Dr. Charnell Wolverton. I'll make sure that this is recording or that this is playing live. Hi, I'm Dr. Charnell with Swift Fire. Tonight I want to share with you very quickly, just in the next two or three minutes, on the science of, hey Christine, the science of signals. So let's talk about signals, okay? Let's say you're in your car, Michelle and Lynn, and you're driving down the road and all of a sudden the light comes on for your oil to be changed, Miss Ann, and maybe even you get a flashing sound or some kind of disturbing uh, beep or something. Uh, when that happens, then you can probably see on the indicator what's going on and if it's the oil then you can hey miss Judy and Tiffany then what you could do is bring it to an oil mechanic or some sort of mechanic or do this at home get your husband or you yourself to do it and basically get it changed out now if you went to a mechanic and explained to him that the light was flashing Teresa and Kelly and it was making a sound that was really bothering you and he basically just went and said hey I have the best idea I can fix this for you right away let me just untwist this light and I'm gonna make it so there's no more sound what would happen to your car within a week or two or maybe even less do you know I can tell you what would happen your car would blow up so that's not a good thing now when we're talking about signals in our car, that's one thing. When you're talking about signals in your body, guess what? Same kind of deal. When we get signals in our body, we oftentimes don't consider that this is actually a message from your body saying, hey, it's time to deal with some sort of trauma that's come up. Like this is an opportunity here. Uh, to deal with something that could be five months old, 20 years old, who knows. But when you see something come up or you feel some sort of pain indicator or symptom within an organ, then 86% of all dis-ease is attributed to past traumas or dormant and or active traumas within the body that are stored. Different things can be stored, different traumas can be stored for different in different places for different reasons. And the main reasons why trauma can be stored is um, through the limbic system. That limbic system will basically decide between 3, 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. what needs to defrag. And if there are things that are going on in your life that um, have a little bit more stick because they're a little bit out of the ordinary or traumatic then sometimes these things do not defrag during that time hey Tatiana and Caleb and they get shelved on to a body part until you're ready to deal with it um, sometimes we are ready to deal with it but sometimes maturity or stress or different things can cause us to not completely defrag those things and they kind of get shelved because we're not in a season necessarily to um, go through the processing. So the ways that trauma can stick, um, number one, you can have um, something that's seriously ab abusive um, by an authoritative figure. That seems to have a little bit more stick, like a coach, a pastor, a parent, a teacher, um, something like that, where you, someone that you've looked up to um, had can do something abusive to you cancel and uh, you may have a little bit more difficulty defragging um, if it's something sudden and out of the ordinary uh, tra traumatic that you didn't expect maybe a death in the family or an accident of some kind then this can also have a little bit more stick cancel all that um, if it's repetitive over and over again and there's a pattern of consistency Again, that's a signal, but also this time for you to maybe see that um, there's a little bit more stick to that, unfortunately. Um, if it's like the top one million things you would never do to someone else and then they do it to you, um, that is a lot of times an opportunity for a little bit more stick. 
Um, and the reason why is because in the processing, as you're defragging, defragging, and you're trying to process a logical brain, um, this is the frontal lobe, and behind that's that limbic, lim limbic system. The frontal lobe will try to come up with an answer or some halfway decent reasoning. And a lot of times, trauma isn't something that you can reason. And so your brain will just be left, and then after that 3 to 5 p.m. has gone, then it just gets shelved until your time is to go ahead and process that. You can also um, store things because you may be too young to deal with it. Um, or and or too immature so I've seen people who are five years old deal with things way better than a 40 year old so it it can vary um, hey you know so there's a lot of different reasons why you may store trauma and of course if you have any of these things in combination they are going to have a a lot more um, stick to it just because there's an opportunity for uh, just a, a congruent like um, traumatic situation because there's more to it if that makes sense so now again when we have stored these things you can store it five years ten years five months three days whatever but when it time when it's time is to come for us to actually deal with it um, you'll see symptoms and when you see those symptoms you know we haven't specifically been taught in the past I know I wasn't that when I see a symptom that this is a great opportunity for us to deal with it hey Melissa but Jennifer I'm telling you um, when you see that a lot of times people will go to the doctor and nothing against medical doctors love them I'm a naturopathic doctor meaning I like to get to the root of the situation and deal with the root from the inside out and a lot of times medical doctors have not been trained in those areas and many times what I have seen just with my own clients who have been to the doctor already is they come back and they have been given prescription medicine now prescription medicine will do what we talked about earlier in the car situation prescription medicine will unscrew the light bulb or the pain or whatever the situation is but it will not take care of the root issues. Trust me, pharmaceuticals will not take care of root issues. They will only be a band-aid. And so again, if something terrible happens to me, I'm not against surgery, I'm not against, you know, MDs are amazing. There's a lot of really awesome MDs and doctors and surgeons out there and they're very much needed and I'm thankful for them and cancel anything ever happened to any of you or any of me. And I will tell you, I'm encouraging you guys and anyone that I work with, if there's something that we can handle, that we can go from the inside out and deal with it from the root issues, that is going to be your best situation. Obviously, if that's not an emergency situation, but those are things that we can do over time with balance, with health, with um, emotional releases, um, nutrition, exercise, counseling, um, obviously essential oils are, are an awesome opportunity to help with that too. And so, um, again, we're not wanting to go to a doctor for them to give us a pharmaceutical to unscrew the light and to make the, the signal go away. When we see the signal, we have to remember, and I'm telling you now because this wasn't told to me, that this is a message. Signals are a message. It's a message and an opportunity for you and for I to deal with the root issues. And I'm telling you right now, there's a lot of root issues coming up right now. Again, I've talked about this in pre previous videos. If you haven't seen my previous videos, uh, earlier this month, not only is it a Rosh Hashanah time in this month, just a few, uh, last week actually, but we've also had a solar eclipse we've had a full moon within a very short period of time and we've had two days of solar flares to hit the earth and when those things happen the electrical magnetic um, frequency of the earth is affected therefore everything on the earth is affected and everything in like on the planet is affected and so whatever you are will be amplified and so this is an awesome time for you to really delve in and to look within to see what is it that's coming up and take that time to just get some clearing, get some healing, search out and seek out 
what it is that you can find in truth and in love and in honesty and your authentic self. Remember your love. Do your decrees. Use your essential oils. Um, be kind to yourself. You know, um, don't be so hard on yourself. If, if there have been some reactions and some things come up in this season, uh, I had uh, several people that I've spoken to over the last week or so who've expressed symptoms of um, almost like a paralyzing anxiety, lethargy, uh, lack of energy. Um, some have said depression, um, just an inability to cope with normal things that they have on their own and especially if you are an empath then just beware because you may be feeling a lot of different things that aren't necessarily you but you're feeling I mean they are you because there is no them we are all one and also this is a time where the electrical frequency has completely shifted on the earth and we are we're feeling it and so there is a new adjustment here an adjustment time that needs to be remembered and for us to be accustomating, uh, recalibrating, reminding, remembering um, that new frequency here on the earth and us, um, you know, like I said, there's a lot of things that we can do is number one, just be aware. Um, of course, use essential oils. Of course, use any decrees because decrees and music and a lot of different things are going to boost frequency. And when we can just get in that adjustment, um, exercise would be great too, just because serotonin and dopamine um, levels will really be great. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Uh, I'd lose the sugar. Maybe it's the time to fast for you. Uh, there are a lot of different things that we can do to accommodate. Keep some accountability. Keep a good friend in touch. You know, talk to them. Uh, and just remember your your perfect love. Remember your union in God and um, decree those things. So, I hope this has been helpful. Has this helped any of you guys? Any of you have experienced any kind of weirdness in the last couple weeks besides me and many others? Becky, Carlin, I know Tatiana and some of the others. Yes, it's an awesome opportunity right now to be praying. We've all seen what's going on in nature with hurricanes and fires and flooding and um, again we've seen a lot on the news um, with people and that transition that adjustment period for people we I choose to touch everything with love I choose to instead of being frustrated and aggravated as I have in the past I choose to touch this country with love with every person with love to touch my own um, Things that have come up with love and to uh, just remember this is a time of oneness within us starting with us and then that bioelectric field goes out of the heart and into the atmosphere and as we are all focused on love and being one remembering member as in remember reminding and decreeing things in perfection and in love then we can actually make this adjustment period a lot easier and we can um, get through it all together so I love all of you I'm sending every one of you light and love right now if you know anyone who's going through some stuff that may be choosing to understand what's going on and how to deal with that please tag your friends please share this there have there's a lot of people who may be thinking that this is them or that they're crazy they are not crazy. You are not crazy. We are not crazy. There's a shift. And it's okay. And we're going to make it. And the more that we stay away from the news and focus on the positive, we can shift and neutralize all that mass brainwashing media stuff that's on the news and even on social media. This is our opportunity to use social media for something positive instead of all the weirdness that I've been seeing in the past and choose to use my social media as a place of love and reconciliation and peace and harmony and unity. I am love, you are love, and so is my world. And so please tag your friends, please um, tag your family members, share with whoever you like. And also if you are not my friend on Facebook and you choose to keep um, connection with me you can hit the follow button just go above here and go ahead and hit that follow button hey John Waskin Waskin oh my gosh we have government officials on here tonight I haven't seen you in a while John this will be good for you to learn 
and remember. And also, if you were not on the class with Robert Stevens and I last night, or the class with Dr. Mary, a naturopathic doctor that we had an interview with today, go in my Divine Science and the Human Body um, group right now. It's There are free classes that speak on conscious language and divine health and how that matters to you and me and to your family. And also, hey Michelle, um, we had a discussion today with Dr. Mary about mirroring the law of attraction and the Bible and how it um, relates to your body on a science level with scriptures and also how the mind-body connection is so important to everyone's health preventatively and um, just to bring balance to you, you and your body. So check those things out. I love all of you. Sending you lots of love. Find me on Instagram, Facebook. YouTube has a ton of stuff. Join the group. And you guys have a wonderful weekend. Have fun. Do something fun. Get out there and get some exercise and some fresh air. And enjoy yourself. All right? Take it easy. Talk to you soon. Bye.